don't mind this interesting setup that you've never seen before. I'm in the guest room because my room currently has a massive echo because I moved out. Well, I guess I haven't like, oh, and there's drilling. There's drilling, there's construction. I'm not fully, fully moved out. Like there's still stuff that I have to take, but like my mattress is gone. That I guess was sucking up all the sound. So now it's like extremely echoey and I just can't do that. So I'm in here. I have been lying to you guys for the past like one and a half months and I feel really bad about it. And it's been stressing me out because I've been going through so much anxiety and stress over this apartment hunting process. And I haven't been able to vent about it to you guys, but now I can. Now I'm gonna tell you guys all the tea that's been going on for the past month and a half that got me to this point. If you are new here, hi, I'm Maya. I live in New York right now and I was born and raised in New York, Brooklyn, New York specifically. I'm a Brooklyn stan. I'm 20 years old. I'm moving out of my childhood home that I've lived in for like 20 years. The only other place I've lived was when I went off to college for like three months, but then I dropped out. That's a whole nother video series if you wanna hear about me dropping out of college. I'm in college now again. So I'm a college student, but just in a different spot. I just transferred. I decided that I wanted to move out because I've been wanting to move out for years now. I like the idea of having a space that's just inspiring my creativity. Which could sound stupid but to me I thought it was a good idea and I also have a roommate I'm moving out with my roommate Raina if you watch the videos you know because she like pops up in a lot of vlogs I've been feeling very stagnant and I'm a Virgo so I hate feeling stagnant so I'm excited for this like new adventure but I did want to tell you guys my roommate and I's requirements for our apartment because we were very picky. I reside in the most expensive city in the world. The rental market, the housing market, any type of market in New York City sucks like the depths of hell. Like just to preface. So our requirements only in Brooklyn. Girl, you're not catching me moving to Manhattan. And if you ever do, please slap me. You do not get your bang for your buck in Manhattan. I mean, I guess just as like a native New Yorker I just don't see the point in anybody living in Manhattan but I do understand from the perspective of somebody like moving here and wanting to be in that like hustle and bustle walking distance to like all your cafes and stuff like that you can still get that in Brooklyn though but like people don't necessarily know that as much so I get it but we're staying in Brooklyn good lighting good lighting specifically means the windows cannot be north facing if you hear anything from me now just hear that if you want to not have seasonal depression and if you care about having lighting in your room or anywhere just pull out the compass on the iPhone and make sure your windows are not facing north north facing windows do not get any direct sunlight south facing gets direct sunlight for majority of the day west facing windows get sunlight on sunset east facing windows get direct sunlight on sunrise I went into it knowing that I could have east south or west no north another one was washer dryer either in the building or in unit which which could be very hard to come by but again we're looking in Brooklyn dishwasher as well should have explained that there's basically two types of buildings that you could be looking for in your search and I think it's important to go into your search knowing which type of building you want because it will kind of impact your non-negotiables but there's basically your pre-war buildings and then your new builds pre-war buildings are your gonna be your older buildings that have been here for years pre-war buildings in Brooklyn can kind of differ from pre-war buildings in Manhattan because in Manhattan specifically lower manhattan majority of those buildings are pre-war and they're squished together so they they're just i don't know i stay away from the manhattan market brooklyn kind of have a lot more options with that you could either have pre-war buildings that come in the form of a brownstone in areas like park slope bed stye brooklyn heights or you could have pre-war buildings that are like buildings on top of restaurants like bodegas those are like walk-ups or you could have pre-war buildings that are like condo units that are just older oftentimes pre-war buildings in brooklyn will have more space the living room the bedrooms will be bigger but you're kind of trading off normally a smaller kitchen kitchen with less appliances you're not gonna have the dishwasher normally you're not gonna have the washer dryer normally stuff isn't gonna be as updated but rent prices for those buildings are normally a lot cheaper and also this is often where you can find rent stabilized deals which means your rent increase each year can only go up by a certain percentage i do not know the exact percentage because our city is trying to change it because it hates us it's only supposed to go up by a certain smaller percentage whereas places that are not red stabilized can kind of just 
raise your rent however much they want to raise it at the end of your lease luxury condos are luxury condos they are more expensive often the living spaces are smaller but you're kind of trading off to have more modern appliances modern kitchen washer dryer in unit dishwasher in unit amenities doorman things like that we were looking in the luxury condo space just because that's kind of what fit our requirements oftentimes you could get floor to ceiling windows just keep that in mind with your search that you should go into it knowing if you want a luxury condo or an older kind of like character-esque building two bed two bath and then we were also kind of like mm, maybe we could do a two bed one bath so like that's kind of where we were teetering it needs to be close to either a train or a bus transportation we wanted amenities that wasn't necessarily like a non-negotiable but i'm like if i'm paying this much shouldn't i be allowed to have a gym in my basement you know what i'm saying but if i'm paying this much should i not be allowed if you're moving to the city know all of the destinations that you need to get to fast or that you frequent and base your your search on those train lines because i tr like trust and believe you're gonna hate yourself for not being close to a train line that you need to be close to and then you're transferring three trains to get to your daily commute to work and then you hate your life also one last thing the websites we used were street easy pretty much just street easy i used a little bit of zillow but street easy is really you know all you need if you're like just renting regular our budget was maximum 4500 we did not want to get close to that we did not want to reach for that we wanted to be way under that preferably like a thousand dollars under that but that was just the most amount that I could possibly see my see us stretching our funds and kind of making it work. But we did not want that. But let's get into the first apartment that I saw on my own. This first apartment was a two bed, two bath. Immediately, this was the first apartment I had ever seen. So I didn't really know what I was going in expecting in any of these possibilities. But I immediately knew like wasn't vibing with this like it was very dark the windows were facing like a brick wall or like the other brick building which just wasn't good for lighting the kitchen was really really pretty it had a really nice stove it had the dishwasher not a lot of storage space but it just mm, it was just very dark the living room itself was very dark and mind you this was a cloudy day but i forgot what facing these windows were because of course i did it on my compass but you know even on the cloudy day it was still very dark and i'm like you know new york stay being cloudy it's cloudy a lot here so if this is what it's gonna look like on majority of days i'm not really with it i left this one and he was like yeah just text me if you want an application i i was like no then I went to a second one that was close in the area. This one was a little bit better. This one was a two bed, one and a half bath. So one of the bathrooms only had a toilet, not a shower, which was like, but it was like, you know, it was still better than what we saw before because this one had a much brighter living space. It had, you know, kind of a nice kind of corner kitchen vibe. You could put like an island there. It had a lot of storage as well. I really liked that this first bedroom had uh, windows on both sides. It had a good size closet space. And then the second bedroom, the bedrooms were both very small for that, but it had a lot of good closet space did this have two closets this one had two closets in one of the bedrooms so that was cute fun and fresh this one also had a balcony i don't think i filmed outside on the balcony but it had a balcony it was kind of by a like noisy street but it was nice that when you close everything everything was like soundproof so you really can't hear anything when everything was closed we had met with this realtor he showed us this one and then he kind of said oh well, like i have something like a few blocks down like do you want to come check that out and then we realized that the one that he was talking about was one that we had high on our list like we were really excited to see this one so he just walked us over and he was like this is the building and i was like this is the one take my card now loved that this one had this kind of like open entryway we were like oh we could put a dining table here that would be cute it had so much light it was very bright because the wooden floors were kind of like this light wood it had overhead lights in the ceiling which i didn't realize was a big ask but a lot of developers don't put 
lights in their ceiling. I loved the kitchen. I loved the light wood of this kitchen. It was really pretty. It had like nice closet space. The bedrooms were small again, but like that's a reoccurring theme. This first bedroom was pretty small, but it got like a lot of light because I think this was like south east and then this second bedroom was like a little bigger it had a bigger closet but it had the same facing window it was bright i liked how they put the bathrooms kind of like out here like this entry space they're both the same size and these bathrooms were so nice because the mirror had was like a storage caddy and you could pull it out but it also was like a light up mirror so you could tap it and light it up i really loved the layout of this bathroom and everything this was like a brand spanking new building like they literally were still finishing up fixing the roof and stuff like that we would be the first people moving in living here he was able to show us literally every single unit on this floor that we were interested in. So we saw every single one and these were the two we were kind of teeter-tottering between so this next one uh, Was a different layout same floor different layout. I didn't know. I don't know like I was kind of unsure which layout I liked better this one has like a deeper living room and it's kind of like longer but it's kind of more connected with the kitchen the kitchen was nice but it was kind of more like enclosed off like I didn't think there was as much space to use your counter these bedrooms were bigger though this first closet was tiny <laughs> so we were discussing this closet because it was real real tiny and it would be interesting to see how you're fitting stuff in that this one also like south facing windows it was so bright even on a cloudy day this was the second bedroom which was like a master ba bedroom with a bathroom attached and this one had a bigger closet but same bathroom vibe i don't think i filmed the amenities i i filmed so such minimal stuff in this place because i was really adamant and manifesting that i was gonna get it i guess spoiler alert I kind of talked about it in the vlog, but like, spoiler alert, I didn't. I didn't film much because I thought I was going to be doing like an empty apartment tour, all that. But this place had a really nice gym, a rooftop with like garden planted. It, oh, it had like a workspace, like a common workspace, and then a small little game room. But it was like a really, really nice kind of like just quaint building. <laughs> If you can hear that construction sound outside, I apologize. You probably can't hear it because you guys can never hear anything. But it's like literally right outside of my window. So like it might be a little OD. I will have to leave my house in like probably like 15-ish minutes. I ended up touring two apartments. Was it yet? Two days ago on my own. Just because like they were like, this is the only time you can see it. And I was like, oh. They were like, we're literally going to show it to somebody else. And they're probably going to take it. So if you want it, you have to see it right now. Before, it, like that's how fast it goes. Like you can see something and you like it. And then two hours later, they show it to someone else. And they're like that other person got it like that's how fast the market moves and we found one that we really liked but reyna hasn't seen in person so like that's i really i've done something really terrible and i've already grown an attachment to this apartment like in my mind i already have this part in my mind i've already moved in in my mind i've already decorated my room which is really really bad because our application hasn't even been approved which i'm manifesting okay nobody manifests Everybody, everybody just ma take a pause. Manifest for me, please. I have been struggling with some insomnia because like, I'm like, if like, oh, like, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go see some more. This is my day two apartment hunting outfit. The other day I was trying to look as sophisticated, mature and adultish as possible. First of all, I really don't like how these jeans fit on me, whatever. Um, I wore the Cornell paraphernalia both days or I'm wearing it both, both days. I did not go to Cornell. My brother went to Cornell. I'm using it so that people think that I'm a sophisticated graduate. You could be a sophisticated graduate from anywhere, okay? I'm not just saying, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. But Cornell is an Ivy. I did not go to an Ivy. But if you look at me and you think I go to an Ivy, would you be more prejudiced to rent me an apartment?
like a utopia. Look at World Trade, guys. Manhattan, hi, how are you? I won't be living in you, but I can see you. The chairs are fire. The chairs are so cute. This would be so dope in the nighttime. Like these lights, and especially when they put the lights on. This is giving nice. Amenities nice. Okay, guys. I was feeling like a like it's that a pass. It's not a pass. It was just a little too much. Like it was mm -hmm. like it's a little hectic. Yeah, and like also. I don't also, know. I don't think it's worth no. worth its price. I wouldn't like ask my. I wouldn't want like a friend suit. Also. Well, first of all, north facing, so yeah, like that. automatic, like off so oh, small. Huh? The yes, and they were so depressing because small. why can this is why I don't understand about developers. If you're making a luxury building, why don't you just put the window from the floor to the ceiling? Yeah, it's really. Weird. It'll make it look so much bigger. Yeah, that's really. Weird. It was so small, and then the fact once he said that there's no overhead lights, I was like, okay. That was also. And there was no. I realized. So Weird. It made me realize there was no overhead lights in the in the living room. Yeah. And I literally lived in an apartment complex where there was no overhead yeah, lights. Yeah, you did. And I was in the, same vibe. in the dark. No, because that's what happens. It's like no matter how much light you buy, like you could buy three lamps. You could buy the light. It's not gonna. It's not gonna travel. Like you need the overhead lighting. Oh yeah. I was like when he said that. I was like oh. Okay. I was like okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he also had to know that we were like immediately no because our like, vibe was immediately off. Yeah, we were just like sitting. we were just like oh okay yeah yeah yeah. The roof was insane. No, the roof was so like, nice. Like, it had a view of Manhattan and then a view of, that looked like the Williamsburg Bridge. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but. It was so, it was so that nice. That was nice. But like, but you like, know, maybe we'll just meet somebody in that building and then get on the roof. So, like. This is nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice bathroom. Bedroom too. Oh, let me check the closet. Good closet space. Air. I love this bedside table that they put. Is this construction or is this done? Of course, I filmed this video in slow motion. Stupidly, I pressed the wrong button. But we really liked this building. It was so brand new that there was literally still paper on the floor. And it was like some of the units were like missing their fridge and everything. Like it was so, so brand new. It wasn't even finished. But it was a really, really nice unit. Um, it had like an accordion balcony, which we hadn't seen yet. Um, the bedrooms were a very nice size compared to what we had already seen. To me, it felt a little bit dark. But it had the washer dryer in unit and the kitchen was pretty nice. The living room did feel a bit small and I wasn't too sure how I felt about the layout of the, the living room slash kitchen. Nice design. I hate that it's such a cloudy day, like you can't fully tell, but... What? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, just like, Relaxing. Cool, yeah, when you're having a bath. This opens up. I've been forgetting to update you guys, but we went to. Oh, I didn't update them after the last one. Which one? The one we. Which one did we just go to? Now I'm getting them mixed up. Oh, right. We just went to, we just went to one. That one was nice. Yeah. With, the, with the accordion Doors. terrace. Yeah. yeah. Two baths, one bath connected. Yeah, it connected. was really pretty. The really developer nice. for yeah. that one was too. Yeah. Like, the gym was so nice. Mm -hmm. The kitchen was so nice. The whole was building was so nice. It was still yeah. being built, but yeah, like, it was nice. literally still in like, construction. Yeah. But, but it was nice. Yeah. It, was just, it smells soup, but it was nice. Um, it's not soup. It's just soup. But now we're heading to.
don't wash the dryer, right? Okay. Is a beautiful thing. Other one? Yeah. So it'd be like, it's like not an even trade off. It's like one person gets a really bad deal. Yeah. I love brownstones. Yeah. It's just like maybe, because you saw it was like families. That one was a, a fast no. It was like one bedroom and then it's just expensive it's like the most expensive we've seen today and then no the no right oh well but without the net without the net i didn't even ask for the net but no, yeah that, it was, just, that, was, that the, was the net that was the whole that was okay the whole. um <laughs> but the brownstones are a vibe they're killing it yeah there was like no light it was like right in between a bunch of walls so like the windows basically have no purpose yeah. and then um there's only one bathroom and and it was small. It, it was, was weird. yeah. The tub was like too high. Yeah. And it was really small. There was nowhere for storage, and the outside space was just like. The outside space didn't make sense no, for make for a sense. roommate situation because which general. way do we go? You know. I think we would just go down. This is such a beautiful neighborhood, though. But yeah. it's like. Like I feel like me just taking. Oh, sorry. This way. Oh. What in the loop? Um. But yeah, it's I think really just for. Love. For the price that they're asking for and for to like if you if you were like a couple or something yeah maybe it would make sense because that room with the garden could be, like could be an office, office. yeah whatever. it's just like if i plop my bed on the floor yeah. and then people are walking through my bedroom yeah. to get to the garden be like, i'd be like get the fuck out <laughs> please leave yeah. so like if all my friends come over and my just and like, i'm like can y'all <laughs> not go into the garden i'm like trying to <laughs> sit on my bed the lighting wasn't given there's no amenities obviously yeah Right, it's, it's, it's like the wasn't giving, they really did a great job of editing the photos because that's what I'm saying, giving. guys. Do not be catfished yeah. by these photos. Sometimes these photos sometimes can be like they can edit the lighting. Yeah. They just edit it all, and then you get there and you're like, uh, yeah. girl. I mean, mind you, it's a cloudy day, but still. What happened was a whole lot, a whole lot. Raina was able to see the apartment that we really liked, and we were ready to kind of put down the deposit, put down everything. So we kind of were going through this big cycle 
with this one particular place, put our application in the first time, and then we know that both both of us are basically self-employed, which is not the best um, situation to be in, especially in the New York City rental market because it's just not as competitive. It's a bit harder to prove that like I have a job and I get paid and it's hard to prove that. We put our applications in and the landlord was like, not feeling it so then we were like okay we could do guarantors so then we did the guarantors and we each did like two guarantors and then the landlord came back and he was like i'm not feeling that either and i'm like what do you what do you mean because basically for new york city you either have to make 40 times the rent price or your guarantors have to make 80 times the rent price and the landlord can either decide if he wants to do a sole guarantor so that means one person you have to find one individual that makes 80 times the rent. Or if you have a roommate, you could have two. So each person has one that makes around 40 and then that combined could be 80. So we had that, we met that. And the landlord was still like, I don't rock with you. So that was like fun and fresh and not really fun and fresh. So basically jump all the way to like the 21st or something, like jump like a week to like two weeks we start back looking again because like i was done looking i was like i found the place i found the one i don't want to look anymore so i had to start back looking and i saw this place and it wasn't inherently wrong with it but it's just like after seeing that place that i had fallen in love with it just wasn't up to par like the the building setup was a little bit weird it was like facing other buildings so you're kind of all looking at each other and the layout was a bit interesting it was a bit dark and they also didn't put a mirror in their bathroom which was like an interesting choice to do but the bedrooms in this one were a lot bigger and they were bigger than the bedrooms that we were looking at in our previous place but the building itself was just smaller it didn't have actually no it did it, it did have like gym same amenities it just wasn't the same like click feeling that we had at the other one then after i think after i saw this one i had seen one more with that same realtor that showed us the one that we loved he was like i have something he showed us something we didn't like it immediately we were like it's too dark so then he was like okay i have a final option for you guys we could put a third guarantor on this application and i feel like that would make a really good case so i went through all the hassle to do all that got the third guarantor put him on the application and the landlord was still like no so at this point it's like i don't know what's up with this landlord i don't know if he just doesn't like the pocs i don't know if he doesn't like the fact that we're like two 20 year old women self-employed and we're pocs and we're trying to move into this building he just wasn't gonna run to us regardless we're like why are we putting in this much effort into somebody that clearly has a prejudice about us and doesn't want us in this building we gave up on that one but this is when we were like literally everything happens for a reason as soon as we like gave up on that one and let go of that one this other building fell into our lap i can't necessarily show you guys that video because that's the one i chose is that like like is that a spoiler was i not supposed to spoil it so you'll have to wait to the empty apartment tour to see that we were like love like it was an instantaneous thing it had everything we wanted and more so we wanted to get the applications in and we saw that i think on a friday or a saturday it was so much so much guys for that one we were gonna do third-party guarantor if you don't know what a third-party guarantor is it's basically you can choose a website so we were gonna do the guarantors.com but they also have other reputable ones you could choose from and that's if if you don't know somebody that makes 80 times the rent in New York City you could pay one of these websites to be your guarantor and only certain buildings were, will accept it this building accepted it and we were gonna go through with that until we found out the price for this third-party guarantor it normally ranges from 50 to 90 percent of your rent and they wanted to give us the 90 percent so we would be paying 90 percent of the rent for the guarantors plus deposit plus first rent it, it just wasn't gonna work we had to switch that and go with our own guarantors and kind of cross our fingers that this landlord wouldn't be as strict and as crazy as that last one so while that was happening I was still touring like I was still going to see places because I'm like I don't know what these landlords are on I don't know if they're about to leave me hanging again so I'm gonna keep going to places and see what I can find so I went to this place that was like a two bed one bath and the building was really nice the layout was interesting with like the kitchen right where you walk in I mean I like the separation but it was just interesting but this one got so much light because it had like two windows two long windows in the living room and they were both like south facing but this one it had a balcony but it was just like the balcony would never be used because it's on like the loudest busiest street so like 
you would never want to go out there also the bedrooms had these like interesting light fixtures that like could not be removed it was just like the developer wanted these light fixtures in there but they're like very specific and unique i don't know like that was just like a picky thing but i was still like after i had seen literally my dream apartment i was like why is that there it was just the fact that it was one bathroom and it was gonna be more expensive than some of the two bed two baths we've seen so i'm like i'm not spending more money to share a bathroom when i know i could spend less money and get my own bathroom really nice amenities it had like two separate rooftops this huge game room with like a pool table the rooftop was like giant it had a movie room, a work room, gym, which is like standard, yoga room, a massage room that you could like wait to get your massages while you're waiting for your laundry to be done. But I didn't end up putting an application in because I was still like, I'm just seeing it just to see it, just to know that the building exists and this is a backup. But I'm still putting all my manifestation into the dream apartment that we had seen. Finally, it's like, what date with this? Like, it, it was the whole month. So, like, the dates are getting really mixed up. But I believe finally on like April 29th. We went back to dream building, building B. We were told, I believe on Friday, that the unit that we loved was gone because somebody had put an application in literally like an hour before we did. So they get first come first serve. So we were upset, but then the realtor was like, there's another unit, two bed, two bath on a different floor. Doesn't, you know, that do you want to see it? So we went to see that one. It was really nice. Like we just like really, we really liked the building. Like we really liked the features of the building and all that. So this was like a really, really nice place. Um, it had the island countertop. The only thing was just, it was seeming like a bit dark because it was on like the fifth floor and it was right in front of, the, front of these buildings. But I did keep in mind that this was like a cloudier day. So the lighting, you know, could be affected by that. The bedroom was real nice. It had the washer dryer in the unit the wraparound window in the bedroom and then the other bedroom with the connecting bathroom the realtor calls us down be like hey come downstairs to the office and we go downstairs and she's basically like hey do you do you still want apartment b that you wanted like do you still want the first option because the other people pulled out and they don't want it so like do you guys want it the universe really just be universing sometimes because like that like it was just you know a moment because this one was nice, but like we weren't as obsessed with it, but we were just obsessed with that first apartment that we saw in this building, in building B. So we were like, yes, and we did it. And we put the application in and we got it in and that's the apartment. If you want to see that apartment, you'll have to wait until my empty apartment tour in my moving video. I'm sorry. And now I wanted to give you guys my list of advice that I have for my first time and stuff that I've learned. So the first thing, making sure that you have all of your documents and paperwork prepared and ready. What that means, because I've always heard people say that, I'm like, what does that mean? Like, how does that, like, do I need to print this shit out? You don't need to print it out. Like, all the applications happen online. Get all of your tax returns. Like, get your past, current year tax return, like your most recent, and then get your second most recent tax return. Whether that's like finding it in your emails or getting it from an accountant, like have that already done because they're gonna ask for that. They're either gonna ask for both or they're gonna ask for one. They're gonna want that. Having a photo of your ID ready, your pay stubs. I know you probably can't have that ready, but you should expect to be able to provide like screenshots or PDFs of your pay stubs. Those are the main things that like take the most time to get that you should like have ready to go in in a file on your computer it was so much easier the second time around doing the application because I already had a file of all my documents prepared and I could just drop it all in knowing your non-negotiables especially in a place like New York City we got really lucky where we didn't have to bend on any of our non-negotiables in the end knowing the things that you will not give up is really important because New York City can really try to convince you that what you want is out of reach and you're crazy about it but it's not that you're crazy it's just you might need to compromise something else to get a certain thing that you want so just know what you're willing to compromise on and know what you're willing to like absolutely not it could be really hard like if you walk into an apartment and you really love it but you're in the middle of nowhere like your location is terrible you're not by a train and then in that case it's like why did you even go see that apartment you know you're gonna get yourself set up if you're able to have control over this the best times to go looking for apartments in new york city or the worst times is basically after april so may to september 
is like the worst times because that's summer that's when everybody is kind of touring because you have college students coming back people are graduating so they're looking for new places that's when market prices go up that's when you're gonna get your most expensive options that is also when like stuff goes really fast there's a high demand so it's just gonna be a really stressful process so if you can try your best to tour in the winter butt neck in the freezing cold winter like think december think january november even like when it's freezing cold and nobody wants to be outside touring apartments that's when you need to be touring apartments those are when um they're the cheapest markets market prices and there's a lot less demand so you might have more wiggle room for negotiation on things also stuff is gonna start to get really crazy and unorganized after you've emailed all these people on street easy and they're asking for different tour dates and you want to know prices and all of that so i suggest just making a notion I made a full notion database template and that really helped to schedule out the tours know the prices and basically keep everything organized because it can get really confusing and you're probably gonna be seeing upwards of more than 10 places other than that I think that was all my advice stay sane stay tuned for my apartment tour video and my moving video so that you can see the place bye guys bye